Hi guys, welcome to Synergistic Horsemanship and just a reminder to subscribe to our channel if you like what you see. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to know when to turn your horse out on the grass. Um, I did a little video earlier in the week that discussed uh, the seeds and knowing when the seeds are going to be dropping on Timothy. And you can see here that this guy is already starting to open up and the seeds are starting to drop and uh, come down. So that Timothy is pretty much ready to go. We do have some smaller pods down here that aren't quite ready yet. I also wanted to talk about the uh, clover grass and how you know when it's ready because it's already seeded and uh, started to drop as well. Same thing uh, went for our marigolds and uh, we don't spray in our pastures for marigolds. We uh, first of all really like to help encourage the bees and uh, marigold in itself actually has some nutritional um, factors for horses as well but that's not really what I want this video to talk about. Um, one of the things we're waiting for now is for the grass to get about on average six inches tall. The clover itself will not get six inches. Um, that's a pretty low-lying uh, plant but the rest of it will and uh, one of the reasons we do that is when the grass is less than six inches it's pretty stressed and uh, it's high in sugar. Grass pulls sugar from the ground to help it grow so when it's in a high growing stage it's going to pull a lot of sugar to get it going. As we know with most plants right they have a maximum height so kind of when they get close to that maximum height they start to really slow down the sugar pull and um, one of the things too that most people don't recognize as well is that the sugar content of the grass will also increase throughout the day. So if you're worried about sugar in your horse, one of the things you actually want to do is to graze your horse either really early in the morning or at night. Because what happens is all throughout the day, the grass is pulling, pulling, pulling the sugar in, and then the grass releases it through the night as it's growing. It uses that energy to grow. So morning time is going to be a lot less sugar and uh, evening as well. It's going to slowly start uh, releasing throughout the night. And you know, like I said, a lot of people don't recognize that. If you have a horse that you're worried about with being older, Cushing's disease, metabolic syndrome, you might be more likely to turn them out in the morning or at night because of that. And by all means, do not turn out when the grass is less than six inches. It's not good for your pasture. It's not good for your horse. It just doesn't benefit all the way around. I know we all get spring fever. We see the green grass. We want to put our horses out on it. But just don't do that. Um, if you want, you can start out with 10 minutes at a time. But just know that if you actually end up putting it on the pasture that you plan on heavily graze, you can really damage your pasture. And uh, yeah, so you know, there's a lot more to it than that. The next video I'm going to talk about is uh, pasture diversity and uh, knowing what to plant your pasture, what to allow and um, allow in. We uh, are going to be doing a lecture video at some point on noxious weeds. I'm just putting all that together. So thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. And please remember to subscribe to our channel, Synergistic Horsemanship. Just hit the subscribe button below. And I hope you have a beautiful, marvelous day. Thank you so much.